Okay, so this video is for level threes, um, and it's going to discuss how we're going to ro work remotely over the next few weeks um, if the college closes, or if you can't come into college, or if I can't come into college. Um, basically, to keep your final projects uh, moving along. So, we're going to go through um, how to use email as a reminder, because we'll be using that as a, a, a communication tool. Um, how we're going to be using Moodle how we're going to be using Microsoft Teams and Microsoft OneNote. So four things to go through. So I'm just going to log into email and um, talk you through how I'm doing it. So to get email from home, you type in office.com and you'll be asked to sign in. So let's imagine I'm a student um, and let's imagine my student number is 12345 and then it's at student dot eastkent dot ac dot uk okay that's how you would sign in um, <clears throat> and then you put your normal college password in there as well uh, obviously I'm not going to do that I'm going to sign in as me I've also got to put my college password in um, okay so I'm in so you've all seen this before, um, but you should be using this uh, on a daily basis, or certainly on the days you're meant to be in college. You should be looking at your college email. Okay, so I will email you through your college email and not your personal email. Um, quick reminder, you've got Outlook for your emails. You've got OneDrive where you can store documents. You've got Microsoft Word and Excel, uh, the online versions. OneNote, we're going to be using that. I'll talk about that later. Teams, we're going to be using that. Um, and also at home, you, if you want to, you can install Microsoft Office for free by clicking that button. Once again, you have to enter your uh, student username and password, but you are entitled as an EKC student uh, to a free version, free install of Microsoft Office. Okay, so that's what that's worth having as well. So let's look at emails um, quickly. In fact, we don't need to look at it. You click on there and look out for emails from me or send me emails, don't need to go through that. Um, so, what we're going to do briefly is break away from this and go on to Moodle. So at, to access Moodle, you can do it from the um, Folkestone College web page. If you scroll right down to the bottom, you'll see a link to Moodle. Or what I normally do is just type it straight into there. So moodle.eastkent.ac.uk. In this case, it takes me straight there because I've already logged in to Office 365. If you haven't logged into Office 365 when you go into Moodle, you might have to put your student username and password. Um, remember your student username is your student number at student.eastkent.ac.uk. Okay, so um, on here, let's just do level three year one first. And I'm talking fairly quickly because there's quite a lot to get through and I want to keep this video as short as possible. So on here, level three year ones, scroll right down to the bottom and you will see um, an area called Final Project Resources and Forms. Um, so here is where I'll be dumping videos um, which you need to watch, which tells you what to do next for your project. Okay, so video one tells you how to uh, fill out a project proposal. And then video two tells you how to install Microsoft Office for, for free. There'll be lots more of these coming. Okay, you, you must watch each of these videos. It tells you, and it, it, would, it will walk you through your final project. Normally I'll do this face-to-face -face in the classroom, so this is the uh, alternative. Um, there might also be on here some forms, some, te some templates and some examples, um, which are also important as well. Um, also on here, there's a good example of a, uh, a level 2 project, which is um, being done at the moment. Um, I'm also going to put on here an example of last year's projects, a pass, a merit and a distinction, um, just so you can see what you need to do to get those grades. So that will be coming soon. Um, let's have a look at the level three year twos, very similar sort of thing. Level three year twos. Scroll down to the bottom. Same again, final project, unit 13 for you. Um, and you've already got three videos here. So video one, explaining the project proposal. Video two, how to install Microsoft Office for free. Video three, how to do a critical comparison. Okay, templates, examples, templates, examples, okay. So this is your sort of area that you need to work through. Um, 
So even though the college might be shut or you're not in or I'm not in, um, on your college days you still need to be working. Okay, And this is how you're going to be doing it, watching the videos and then doing the work. So that's Moodle. Um, back to here. Um, OneNote. So what, we're, what we've done here, Matt Rowe set you up, set you all up with a, um, a notebook, a class notebook. Um, so this is a way that we, you, we can collaborate. Let's say you're sketching out something, instead you're doing a drawing, whatever, or you've made a few notes, like a, um, I don't know, a brainstorming uh, bullet point list of notes that you've made. Um, what you can do is you can share those notes with your lecturer. Um, I don't know if I can show you. I want to try and show you. What, what, yeah, here we are. Is this what it looks like? Let's have a look at this. This is something that Matt Rowe did, so I'm um, not totally familiar with how it's going to look. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, you can see down here, um, all you students have got a notebook. Okay, so level two, year ones, level, sorry, level three, year ones, and level three, year twos, you've all got notebooks. So when you look on here, you'll just see your notebook. I'm seeing them all, um, because that makes sense, I need to be able to collaborate with you. So let's, for example, have a look at the notebook for, um, who should we look at? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to pick one that's been used. Sophie. Okay, so Sophie's got a notebook, and, and in, in the notebook there's four sections, class notes, handouts, homework and quizzes. Um, and there'll be a week, we can use any of these to collaborate with each with each other. So let's have a look. I don't know which one Matt's used. Let's try in there. Class notes. Okay, so here's just a, this was a, just for testing. Um, so Matt wrote something in there. How are you? Um, so this is a, an area where we where I can communicate with Sophie. She can write down some ideas. Um, I can give her some tasks for the day. And she and she can see those tasks. So this is more individual, whereas Moodle is used just for everybody. If I need to give you some specific individual instructions or advice, we're going to use this um, notebook. Let's see what's in handouts. Maybe nothing. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is it. So it's a good example here. So um, there's some instructions. What um, Sophie needs to do. This is um, it's instructions given to her from Matt. She's got to create a mood board. I should say mood board. Matt's uh, spelling is not always great. Um, of how a virus uh, breaks out. Um, funny enough, Sophie's project is um, like a computer simulation, like a processing sketch of a virus spreading. So it's very topical. Um, so this is an area where the lecturer can give Sophie some instructions or some advice. Um, so it's a good collaborative area. Okay, so make sure at some point you go onto OneNote, find your notebook, um, and then we can communicate with each other uh, via that. There's also a OneNote app that you can download to your phone if you prefer to work from your phone, and you'll get exactly the same information. Okay, so that's OneNote. So, um, yeah, thanks to Matt for setting that up. Um, let's have a look at Teams. You've, you should also be set up on Teams. Now this is a way we can do um, like a video conference, a bit like FaceTime. Um, once again, there's an app on your phone which tends to work better than doing it um, via the via a PC if you're going to do a, a video conference. So download Teams onto your phone, um, and then we can. We've already done it. We've, we've done this with about ten students already. Had a video conference link with them, um, given them some instructions. Um, and it works really well. Okay, it's not going to be a great demonstration on here. You should do it on your phone, but I'll, I'll give you a rough idea. Okay, so if I want to contact Matt, I can do a video call. He may or may not answer, so just give it a go. Or you can leave a message. Oh, God, I look terrible. Ah! That's not a good look. 
Let's move that out of the way. Um, if the person's, if the lecturer is not there, you get the ability to leave a message normally. Um, but that's how you do it. Oh. Hello, Matt. Just to let you know, I'm doing a YouTube video. You're now live. You're going to go live on YouTube. We're just showing them how to use Teams. Okay. Uh, special guests. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so we'll just keep it going for a, a few seconds because otherwise it'll be a long video. But I just want to show them how we can uh, do like a video conference. And I was saying on the phone, it works a bit better. Okay. Um, so I was saying to the level threes, if they want to contact you or I and do a face-to-face, -face, we're going to use um, yeah. Teams. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's what I've been saying to everybody um, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, we had great success with connecting via the phone, screen sharing, demos. Sorry, it's one thing. Either turn the radio off, please, or take it upstairs. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, yeah, the ability to share to share screens is really good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's really useful. So, um, especially if there's any issues, I and mean, you can also take control of uh, a PC screen um, by clicking a button to point the cursor to where people need to go. Yeah. So, yeah. actually, do we can actually do some demonstrations, um, uh, sort of live, and help out and troubleshoot with various bits of software. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, mate. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just cut it, cut it short there because it's going to be a long video otherwise. But um, that's good that it all worked. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, yeah. All right, Matt. See you later. Okay. So Microsoft Teams, good for one to ones, good for sheet, uh, screen sharing. Um, so you've seen that. Let's go back to office.com. Um, okay. Quick recap then. So. Email, which you can get from home. Check it on a daily basis. Certainly check it on your normal college days. OneDrive, an area where you can store files and documents and folders. You know about, this is the online version of <coughs> Microsoft Office. OneNote, where we've got um, sort of uh, a notebook that we can share and collaborate with. Um, so this is more sort of personalised compared to Moodle. We can give you some specific instructions just for you. And Teams, we can do um, these video conference links and we can share our screens. And this has been tested, it works really well. Um, and don't forget Moodle, where it's sort of, sort of, your, sort of your generic advice for the whole group. So it's not really individualized, but um, yeah. This replaces me standing up and doing like a, a 10 minute lesson in the class. So you have got everything you need on here to carry on with your projects. If the college is disrupted, which is probably going to be, there's no excuse not for your project to suddenly stop. Um, if you're doing a processing project, you can get processing installed on your PC at home for free, and even on your phone. If you're doing a Unity project, that's also available to download at home. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who are going to be using Premiere Pro or Photoshop, then that's a bit more tricky. You might have to sign up for the Creative Cloud, which for a student is about £15 a month. Um, you might find another way of doing that, but that's the official way of doing it. Um, what other projects are on the go? Arduinos and Raspberry Pi projects. So those of you who've got your own Arduino, there's no problem there. You can carry on with your projects. Um, so yeah, so don't let these projects suddenly stop. Um, let's get them done. Yeah, and then when we come back, We'll be in a way ahead of uh, maybe some other courses where things have had to sort of slow down a little bit. So we don't want your um, course to suffer in any way. And being a computing course, we are used to working with computers. We are used to working remotely. Um, so this is our this you know this is our bread and butter really. Um, we are in a very strong position compared to some other people who don't use computers quite as much as we do. So we, our projects can carry on, um, yeah. And if you want to contact me or Matt, as you can do that via email or Teams. Um, okay, so you'll still have access to your tutors, um, but it'll be uh, remotely rather than uh, in the same classroom if we can't get to work. 
Okay, I'm going to stop the video there. Do send me an email if you've got any questions.